The German president Frank Walter Steinmeier recently visited Tanzania. Some European leaders feel the need to acknowledge the obvious elephant in the room upon visiting the continent and address the harmful legacy of colonialism. Modern European leaders who express empathy or remorse regarding colonialism place themselves in a precarious position because now they introduce an even bigger elephant in the room. What up African world, it's Home Team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and contributing to this content. The link to Patreon is in the description box below. Also, stay tuned with a word from my sponsors. Have you ever wanted to learn an African language? If so, keep watching. There are many ways to connect to different African cultures. Many do it through the enjoyment of the music, the dancing, and my personal favorite, the food. But when it comes to learning the languages, that can be a bit challenging. So, here we are. We here at Speak Afrique are trying to lay the groundwork to build that bridge with our new short phrases and vocabulary series. These are the seed projects to something much larger that we're building. We currently have languages such as Dwi, Kikongo, Mandinka, Igbo, and many more will be added as time goes on. So, if you want to start your journey to connecting to Mama Africa, head over to Speak Afrique on iTunes or Amazon and let's start learning together. To begin, the graphic details of the Maji Maji War will be excluded from this video for obvious reasons, so please keep that in mind. Instead, I present general information about the war to give an idea of why the German president may have felt compelled to address the issue. The country of Tanzania is located in East Africa. It borders Uganda and Kenya to the north and the Indian Ocean to the east. Some consider Tanzania an important prehistorical location in regards to the origin of humanity. During the scramble for Africa, Germany laid claim to Tanzania, but like many peoples throughout the continent, the locals weren't going to just lay down to appease colonial ambition. 100 years ago, various societies in Germany's Africa fought the Maji Maji War, mostly in the southern regions of the colony. Maji is a Kiswahili word for water and refers to the war medicine as well as a messianic message carried by messengers of the Bokero cult who spread the word of the need for resistance. The war, which commenced in July 1905 and in most areas, ended as a military conflict in the following year, was chiefly directed against the German colonial presence. The German response to Tanzanian resistance was typically brutal. One estimate claims around one-third of the population lost their lives as a result. Those who survived were subject to the dehumanizing virulence of German control. The German counterinsurgency campaign intensified the suffering of the majority of African men, women, and children living in Ongoni from the spring of 1906 onward. Given this history, the German president felt the need to acknowledge it. According to CNN, President Frank Walter Steinmeier apologized on November 1st for the colonial era atrocities. As German president, I would like to ask for forgiveness for what Germans did to your ancestors here. This cruel deed has left its mark on many generations. It shames me. I am ashamed about what German colonial soldiers did to your forefather and his fellow warriors. Now there have been other European leaders who acknowledged the dark legacy of colonialism, King Charles of England being one of them. However, once European leaders start to acknowledge or go on apology tours, a proliferation of other concerns arise. For example, one salient aspect of the book Powernomics by Dr. Claude Anderson speaks about how we as a community should position ourselves in discussions like these. I believe his ideology applies for the entire African diaspora. In essence, Dr. Claude Anderson tells us that when we speak about issues regarding slavery and for the sake of the video, adding, by proxy, colonialism, it should always be discussed in monetary terms, especially in public settings. 
I get the impression that Dr. Claude Anderson doesn't put any weight into apologetic tours. He describes institutions like slavery and colonialism as wealth building agents, and that's the only meaningful way to look at it from his perspective. His points are difficult to disagree with. The foundation of slavery and colonialism was wealth and or resource extraction. Thus, the apology tour of some European leadership can be seen as vacuous. Apparently, some Tanzanians would agree. In nearly monolithic fashion, at least on social media, the message was that the German president's apology was not enough. The real apology, if you will, would be a tangible reparative effort. I'm really curious what the diaspora has to say about this. What should colonial apologies actually look like if they do take place? Is it better to have no apology at all, or is it critical for an apology to be married with tangible reparative justice, one that may come in multiple forms? Germany did seem to take this approach with Namibia, as they apologized and ostensibly offered billions to the victims. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure how, when, or if this has been implemented but it was reported. Well, I'm all out, guys. I'm curious to get the thoughts of Tanzanian people and others from the African diaspora. And if you like these videos and want to contribute to its continued production, you can do so on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.